Oh, they're all at his booth. MP Collectibles. Good. You got it. Welcome to CKX 2019. This has been our home for five years now. This is our fifth big year. Sure. It's the show. You guys come just to watch what's going on, right? Yeah. Right. Exactly. So I get people that constantly say, why don't you do this at the show, you know? Why don't you bring Alfonso to the show? My name is Robert Bellamy. I'm one of the co-founders of CK Expo in Chatham, Canada. This festival started in 2014 with my best friend Chris, my girlfriend Christine and myself. We really wanted to bring something to the community that was interactive, that was fun, you know. My girlfriend is huge into costuming. So she's like, ooh, let's do cosplay. And my best friend Chris owns a game store. So it's kind of like, well, games and costume, let's try it. Back in the day, a few months out, we would start putting things together, planning, and but lately, I have already booked people for next year. Like, I am already on for CKX 2020. So it's, it's a year-long process for me. That way, it's not four months of crunch. It's a nice, long process with one week of chaos. We do have some people here uh, showcasing certain things, and we're going to have them come up and talk a little bit. First one is Linda. The benefit I find of doing it in such a small area is the intimacy. The vendors know the customers. Customers know the vendors. When this event rolls around, it's like a little family reunion. These people get together once a year, they have fun, then they go their separate ways until next April. I do feel that the nerds today, not just kids, there are adults in banking world, in uh, finance world, in, you know, behind a corporate desk that love Star Wars, that, you know, think Dragon Ball is amazing and can't share that at work or with their friends or things like that. So this is that outlet. This is them just getting their geek out. I think the biggest challenge for this, which would always be pretty much for any convention I can think of, is finances. You know what you want to do, but you still have to brain yourself in financially. I have spoken to a couple different people about appearing here. And then when I get their quotes, it's like, well, thank you, we're not that high. That part is limiting. But I also think that being limited by that part has made us experiment more with different people. Most conventions would be looking for the Jason Momoas, you know, or the, the Chris Evans. You know, we want people to meet people in different areas. When we did our first convention, I was hoping 800. Uh, Chris was the one who said, let's get the Bradley Center. I was, you're insane. We had 160 people at our last event and you have a hall that holds 2,000. So it, it was that reaction from the people. It's like, do this. So when we did the second one, we had 1,600 people. It, it grew a little bit and it's grown a little bit more. The last two years, like last year was a jump of like 600 people more. This year, I'm feeling it's another jump. We had issues we've never had to deal with before. So it does present stuff, but our group, we, and, and I'm so proud of them, we handled it in a fast motion and, and got everything solved. And I don't think anybody was the wiser and everyone continued to have a great time. I think my dream for this, if I, if I could just snap my fingers and not kill half the population, I think it would be to have a, a two day event where it's like today, both days, they come, they have fun, we can mix things up on both days so it's not the same, it presents more opportunity. Games people are constantly saying, why don't you run more tournaments or have more of this and it's, it's very hard on one day. Not to mention, it's very difficult to schedule a fill and panel room, a stage, a cosplay stage, and um, all the events going on and having everybody be able to experience everything. It's just not possible. I am in the front lobby. <laughs> there you are. And I'm looking over. I thought you were behind the banner. 